I had a, a couple couples over one Friday night who are observant. And the kids come into the room and they're whispering to the mother. She says, shh, shh, shh. I'm like, what's wrong? I said, well, they're in your office. And they got a little, like, shaken because they saw on the wall that there were six old rabbis, six old men. Rabbi, why do you have 80-year-old rabbis, old men, pictures on your wall? So I said, it's a very good question. And I asked the parents, and the kids were there, do your kids have any pictures on the wall? Like, yeah. My son is LeBron James. He loves LeBron. And Kobe Bryant. He loves Kobe. And my daughter has a famous singer. I don't recall her name. Like, why do you have life-size pictures of LeBron and Kobe? Whoever the singer was. He said, Rabbi, because they're stars. They're, they're amazing athletes. They're so talented. I said, you're right. I said, LeBron, Kobe, they can shoot a basketball. I'll never be able to do that. But while they're very talented, it doesn't mean they're great. Their work ethic might be great. I don't know if they're great people. I don't know if they're real heroes. I could tell you without a doubt, I never want my children to grow up that their idea of greatness, that what they should become is LeBron James. He might be a great person, I don't really know LeBron. But my dream in life is that my, not that my child should be LeBron James. You know those people on the wall? Do you know they're such awesome human beings? They're so special. I can't begin to explain to you who they are. If you've never met a Nelson Sui Finkel, I, I, I can't begin to give over what it means to see a rabbit with Parkinson's like that. Those people, if my children would grow up to reach their ankles, if my children would grow up to be like them, that would be the greatest joy in my wife and myself's life. I'd be so happy. Those people are my heroes. Those are the people I dream of my children becoming. I wish my children should become like those people on the wall.